Good morning, guys. So it is 11.30, almost the afternoon. Um, no, I'm not just waking up, but I am just now vlogging. Um, <clears throat> so, um, we're waiting on Ava to get off the bus. Today's going to be a relaxed, chill day. Probably throw in a little bit of cleaning here and there. Not much really needs to be done because my mom and I cleaned yesterday. Other than my sister, she doesn't understand whenever... Kylie, I'm throwing you down the gutter. Whenever you do dishes, you clean the whole kitchen. You don't just do a couple of dishes and then you walk away. You do all the dishes. You wipe the counters, wipe the table, sweep the floor. But she didn't do that, so, I mean, that's okay. She will probably be doing them tomorrow, so I will just redo them. Or not redo them, but do them today. The rest of them. <clears throat> so, what are we doing? We're just waiting on Nene, right? And then we're going to go outside and play? Yeah. Yeah. Say hi, guys. Hi, guys. Amelia, say hi. <laughs> so, she is feeding Bailey human food, and she's not supposed to. Amelia, no. No more. Mommy's going to take them away. No more. Don't give Bailey no more. So, but good morning, guys. How is your morning going? All right, Nevaeh is home. She just got off the bus. I just walked back in, sat down. Here she is. Hi, guys. So, I don't know, honey. Right here. Right here, Ella. So, we are going to probably go O-U-T-S-I-D-E. Um... We just got back from Wendy's and Dairy Queen, and I'm going to lay Amelia down for a nap and take Bailey outside and let the girls play while I chill inside and get some mom time, like quiet and peace for a couple of seconds. <gasps> what? You're okay. You're not bleeding. Dust it off. Dust it off. Um, like I said, we just got back, so that's why it's dark in here. Um. I'm going to see if Nevaeh will want to vlog and carry you guys around and play with you all outside. Show you all what they do. Uh, they stay in the backyard. They're not allowed up front. They know the rules. Uh, if they come around front, they have to come inside and they're not allowed out for the rest of the day. If they pass the white building that's back there in the backyard, I don't know if I've even showed you all, but if they pass that building, then they also have to come inside. Um, plus, I'll leave the back door open. I go check on them here and there. So, it's really... So they are they are being watched. I'm not just leaving them free balling outside. Um, some parents actually do do that, and um, they are YouTubers. And if you watch them, you'll probably know who I'm talking about. Actually, I'm not even gonna say their name, but they do that, and they don't get hate for it. So I really hope that you all don't get me hate for this. Amelia, no, no, come here. No. All right, ready? Ladies, look at Miss Ashley. Say cheese. Here, sit down, Ella. Ella, watch out, honey. All right, ready? On your mark. Get set. Go. No. 
Oh no. You cannot get on it, you're too small. Go, Nene! Good job, Nene. And I've been waiting for like 20 minutes in the little room. I've already been in the lobby. I've already been seen by the doctor. And I have to beat the bus before Nevada gets off. Um, and I also have to go to the storage building. So it's like 10 minutes that way. And then it'll take me 20 minutes to get home. That's 30 minutes altogether. Depending on traffic. So I might get there like right as the bus is pulling up. You want your tube set? Yes. We've got three girls. Twenty-two years old. Oh. You have twenty more years of oh, no. potentially being able to have a baby. And you understand. Yeah. This is one hundred percent permanent. Yeah. One hundred percent irreversible. Ninety-nine point nine percent effective. Nothing is perfect. Yeah. We've got three girls. Okay. We don't want any more. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> like, I've talked to my husband, and I was like, look, I'm not going to do it if you don't want it done. Right. And he was like, no, it's your body. It's whatever you want. And I was like, well, I don't think my body can handle another kid. Okay. And just the way with the back, the last, my doctor, Sabrina, mm -hmm. that we've, we kind of went over, mm -hmm. she's either looking at trying, like, some type of injection first. Mm -hmm. Well, with, depending on what UK says. Yes. Injection or metal rod, which my aunt she had that. She's like, if they offer it to you, tell them no. Right. She's like, I've had it three different times and it failed each right, time. Yeah. So she's like, stay away from that. Right. If you can get a different surgery, try it. Mm -hmm. If you can't, do the injections. I'm mm -hmm. like, oh, well that's great because sure. my discs mm -hmm. are still slipping. Okay. And I guess they're getting worse. That's why she sent me straight to UK. She okay. didn't even try to come to Danville. She's like, you're going yeah, right to UK. Fine. That sounds fine. Good. Um. Uh, okay. Yeah, I know. We wanted to try for a boy. Yeah. But we keep looking at it. Trey's mom has five boys. Okay. Yeah. And she kind of he kind of takes after her, except for he has the females. Sure. And oh. I can't deal with five girls. Right. We're already sitting here. Okay. So we're gonna have a sixteen-year-old. We're also gonna have a fourteen-year-old, mm -hmm. and we're gonna have a thirteen-year-old. Right. That's a lot. <laughs> They're all gonna go at each other. Right. That's a lot. So we've actually, we've talked about it. It's been like going on for months. Like the last time I was here, I was going to talk to you about mm -hmm. it. And then I was like, no, I'm doubtful. So mm -hmm. then we talked about it. Mm -hmm. And then whenever I found out I had this appointment, we were talking about it again. Mm -hmm. I was like, are you sure you're okay with it? And he was like, it's whatever you want to do. So that's really what I want to do. Okay. <laughs> I'm so nervous to have more kids. And plus, I don't want to bring another kid into the world if I can't take care of it. Like I can take care of the three I have, but sure. it's a struggle. Okay. And I don't want to bring another child in if I okay. can't take care of it. That's like one of my biggest fears. Sure. But what if all this gets better and 10 years down the road you feel great? We've been talking about doing like foster or adoption. Okay. I know adoption is expensive. I've actually looked into it. Mm -hmm. um, me and my husband aren't in a position to foster at the moment because we live with my mom. And okay. I know that we have to have you know our own sure. place. Yeah. It has to be suitable. But that's something that we've also been talking about. Mm -hmm. And I've been... Hesitant, I go to fill out the paper for it, and I'm like, no, 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 no. we mm -hmm. can wait until we get our own place. And right. then I'm like, reading again, I'm like, but it takes some time, so maybe. Yeah. Right. <laughs> I just get excited. Like, I love kids, I love my kids, but three girls, mm -hmm. my two year old, or she's actually three now, my yeah. three year old is, she's a little crazy. Sure. Okay. <laughs> and then this one, Millie, she's just kind of, she has it all. Okay. Like, she's kind of the boy oh, okay. of the mix. Yeah. Because she's the dirty. She likes to get dirty. Mm -hmm. She eats mud, mm -hmm. sadly. <laughs> she tries to eat everything. So mm -hmm. that's kind of like my little boy mm -hmm. right there. That's one thing that it's been a little on and off. Like whenever I was pregnant with Millie, uh -huh. we were talking about it. And labor, whenever I went into labor, uh -huh. that's kind of what made me, oh, no, I don't want more kids. And then the last time I was here, I was going to talk to you about it. Yeah. And then I just forgot. 
and we just but was like doubtful okay. at that time and then this time I was talking to him because he's not here he's yeah. actually on his way back home okay and I was like are you sure I was like if you're not sure I'm not gonna do okay. it we're in this together I just need to know okay but it stresses me a lot with okay. like him always gone okay so. um now if we tie your tubes and you stop your pills your bleeding might go back to being crazy okay and you may need to restart your pills for cycle control Will you okay. be okay with that yes okay yeah i have an alarm set on my phone it goes off at 11 every okay. day and it's boom 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 taking it mm-hmm. and if i forget my mom was like hey destiny you need to take your pill yes. right now <laughs> i'm like okay Got and, it. And you're not interested in like an IUD or anything like that or anything in the arm? That makes me really nervous mm-hmm. to have um, things inserted okay. in my arms and stuff because you know you read some stories. I know it doesn't happen to everybody. You're nose ring. Yes. <laughs> Actually did it myself. But that's, I mean, <laughs> this is the same. These are things are the same. We just can't see them on that. Okay. I know. Everything is wrong with me though, so I get nervous. Okay. Like, I'm my mom's sick baby. Like, everything mm-hmm. has happened to me. Yeah. And my cousin, she actually will. She's only 16, but she has it done. Or she got the one that goes in the arm. She loves it. And she was like, well, maybe you should try that and yeah. do it. But I just get nervous. Like I said, I'm a mom's sick baby. Yeah. <laughs> and I feel like I would be one of those people that you read a story about that like, oh, it ended up here instead of here. I've never had a migraine. It's never <laughs> migraine. <laughs> you know, it's where it needs to be. It stays there. It also works as well as a tubal. But, but you're okay with me putting you to sleep and putting and making incisions in your belly. Somehow that's okay. That's I'll less scary. Okay that. That's less scary than me putting something <laughs> underneath your skin. Yeah. Because you know that you will have much more risk. Of yeah. Much, much yes. more risk. Blood clot, well, stroke, mm-hmm. anesthesia, I could damage where I'm working, yeah. all that stuff. Actually, um, both of my friends got their tubes tied. You know, I think you might know both of them are one of them. Cheryl. Okay. Uh, Paris. I don't know. But her. She actually. <laughs> and then Rebecca Hacker. She got her mm-hmm. tubes tied as well. Not too long ago, I think. Maybe it was in February or March. But she loves it. Okay. And she kind of put an influence on me to go more towards that way. Because she had two. And she was like, I'm done. Okay. And I have three girls. I don't think I'm going to actually get my little boy. But I do have a little boy in a way. Okay. So I have a lot of patients in their 20s that have their tubes tied that have mm-hmm. a lot, a lot of regret. Mm-hmm. Okay. So I need you to sit with that for a little while. Okay. And it's okay for you to cancel the surgery if you think about it, but you have to be 100% permanent for the rest of your life because you could have babies for 20 more years. Mm-hmm. Thousands of things could happen. You can win the lottery. You could um, become, you know, your husband could stop traveling. You could really, really win a boy in 10 years when the girls are big and all in school, mm-hmm. all that kind of stuff. And you have to be comfortable with that. Okay. <laughs> I know, you're making, you're like my mom. She gave me the same lecture. She's like, this. What up, guys? Today is Friday. I didn't upload on Wednesday just because I knew I wanted to put Wednesday and today together. They will either be up really late tonight or they will be up Saturday morning. Trey's home. You guys, I haven't vlogged since Trey's been home. But today is Friday the 3rd, 2019 of uh, May. We are going to Lexington to go to a doctor for my back. We're going to a neuroscience uh, institute in Lexington. Hopefully to get some answers. So far all we know is that my discs are still slipping. And we will talk to you guys when we get there. We're here at the doctor's office. And my hair, what the heck? But we're here at the doctor's office and we got seen by, I got seen by the nurse. She took my blood pressure and she did all of her like little business stuff. I'm breaking out so badly, guys. No one cares. Everyone cares about my skin. But we are currently just, I'm going to block this out. We're currently sitting here waiting for the doctor, which her name is Ashley. And hopefully she doesn't take, hopefully she doesn't take too long because... I don't even know if you guys can hear me. I might have to amp up the volume. But we're waiting on her and hopefully, I don't know, we get more answers today. I don't know. What do you have to say, big head? Why it's easy. <laughs> Let's see. My head is too small for my body. My head needs to be bigger. Or my body needs to be smaller. Are you sure? We're just admiring ourselves. 
because I have nothing to talk about right now until the doctor gets in here. My um, my blood pressure was one <coughs> sixteen, I think, over sixty, <coughs> which is good. So, um, we got water because I knew we was gonna get nervous, and Trey brought my water in because I didn't want to carry it, so he did for me. Um. When the doctor comes in, I'll try to secretly record what she says. But if not, I'll just update you guys whenever we're done. Alright guys, so we just now got done seeing the doctor. We're waiting on her to bring me a slip for physical therapy. Um, thankfully, my back is not as bad as we thought it was. Um, if you can see right here, that one is further up which that is the S1, I think is what she said, right? S1 is further up than the rest, and that's, like, right as it enters into the, like, butt bone area. Um, it's further up than what it should be. Uh, and I also have um, arthritis. arthritis in my back. So if you can see right here, these white lines are where the arthritis is. Um, I also took pictures. Anyway, so like I was saying before, she is going to send me to physical therapy, and that means that I need to start losing weight. I need to get it on the ball, and just, I need to get on the ball with losing weight, because um, I feel like that'll help me out a lot. So, I need to get to a gym, and do this physical therapy. <laughs> guys it's the next morning and we forgot to end the vlog and we'll see you guys in our next vlog bye 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 say bye